Hey, welcome. I'm super excited to share the drag and drop editor with you. On the left hand side in your menu, you'll see drag and drop editor. When you click on that, it's going to take you to the drag and drop editor. In the upper right hand corner, you're going to see under create, you're going to see wizard, responsive, freestyle. Those are our different editors that we have. Now freestyle is definitely my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and click on freestyle and show you guys how to use this. Now, you're going to get a blank page that looks kind of like this. And on the left hand side, you're going to have your toolbox. And if you hover your mouse over each additional icon, it's going to tell you exactly what each icon does for you. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with the video. So I'll head on over to YouTube and grab a shared uh, link for one of these videos here. And I'll just go ahead and grab it. And I'll come over here to the tools on the left hand side and I'll click on the embedded video icon. Simply put in the link and confirm and you guys can see that the video is here. I can change the size of the video and I can drag it to any place on the page that I choose. Pretty cool, right? Now I can also use this little on the left hand side of the video and I can actually just use half the video if I so choose. So really, really cool, really easy to use. I'm just going to go ahead and use this video really quick here and move on to another tool that, I, that we have here that you're definitely going to need and enjoy the opt-in form. So let's go ahead and click on the opt-in form icon and then we'll go ahead and select the fields that we want. What do we want to collect from our prospect? Well, I want to collect their name, their phone number, and their email. So you guys can choose exactly what it is that you want to collect. Now you can click on the library here and it will bring you over to um, a, a bunch of your images that you can choose from and one of those uh, images that you're going to want to use with opt-in form is these buttons. So you want to click on buttons and then uh, select any one of these buttons that we already have for you. If you don't like these buttons that's fine. You could use your own. You can import or in, you know upload your own uh, buttons. So let's go ahead and just use this one really quick here so I can show you guys how this works. See that? I'm just dragging and dropping. So now it's going to ask for their name, their email, and their phone number. Okay, and then it has a nice little button here. It's got a video that's going to play to the right of that opt-in form. Now what we could do is we could add you know some images that uh, makes that opt-in form a little bit more noticeable so that that way that they uh, actually do opt-in one thing that I like to do is I like to use arrows. So let's just go ahead and grab this uh, image that I found over here on uh, Google Images. And I'll come on back over here and I'll go to um, add an image. Just like we did the video, we'll just go ahead and slap in the, um, the link. And as you can see, now we have an image. And I can rotate that image around to however it is that I, you know, however I want it. I'll just go ahead and set it just like that. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and get the arrow pointed at the opt-in form, put it over here on the right. That makes it pretty obvious that there's an opt-in form there with a the big arrow here, right? So what I could do also is I could add a text. So let's go ahead and just uh, add a text that says something to, let's just do, uh, well, let's, let's make it bold. And then let's check uh, the fonts here. We got different kinds of fonts that we can choose. I'll just go with impact and I'll just say, please, um, fill out the form for more info. You guys can be as creative as you want, um, but for training purposes, I'm just going to be super quick here with you guys. And uh, look, I'll go ahead and just select a color to kind of show you guys that you can do that as well. Um, so here's the text, and I can shrink this up a little bit and put that, I'll just put that right here underneath the arrow so that way they can tell that. You know, that's, and actually, why don't we be fun with it? Why don't we angle that a little bit? And then also, what I could do, being a little tricky with me. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just go to style, and let's change the size of this thing to like 30. Let's make it bigger. And uh, let's choose, let's see, red. i got to get the right red here. I'll just, I'll just use that red. That works. But you know, I don't like that. I, I want to change the, 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 I want to do like a impact. There we go. Confirm. Go back to my style. Change the size back up. Let's see here. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. I'm not going to waste a lot of time doing this because I'm trying to do a training video for you guys, but you guys can see that 
you can actually go in here and you know change your colors around and you know yeah, change the fonts and all that kind of cool stuff so um, so that's what you guys can do there so we also have some other options that you can do over here on the left hand side you can add a slider sliders are really cool um, you can do a sequence of, uh, of images that slide back and forth you'll just have to play around with some of these tools here you guys can see how they work but actually one one tool that I want to show you here is you have this little eyeball here and when you click on that you can see how your your page is going to look on different devices so you've got obviously a desktop you've got an iPhone um, sideways iPhone iPhone 6 you know and so on so if you want to kind of know how your pages are going to look you can click that little previewer and so they're going to look this is kind of like what the page looks like right now and they're going to watch a little video here what happens when you pretty cool right so so that's how that works but let's go ahead and do this let's let's add a background um, let's add a background on here like a color that might look kind of cool let's do let's do a we could add that back there let's see what do we want to do here let's let's do this let's let's do a background image Let's go. Got that little thing in the way. Okay, let's just go ahead and add an image here. Oh, I just don't know what I just did. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. What are we doing? Now I need to scroll down this page a little bit. And I can just kind of shrink up that image there. See that? I can choose this to be on the border. Um, I can also right click and I can do move to back. See that kind of goes behind everything. And now I can just kind of stretch that out. That's kind of cool. So I've got a, you know, an image of this, uh, you know, kind of goes along with the theme there. You know, I can play around with a little bit more, but I'm just going to kind of here, let's take a look at the preview and see what this page looks like so far. So you've got a cool little page there. you got a video going on here. you got these guys yeah, right in the background. The most... So you can be pretty um, creative on your pages with this drag and drop. Now we've got all this here. We could actually we could add a video behind. Let's go over here to YouTube. And let's say we want to take, you know, let's say we want to take this video here. And uh, let's see, we want to put it in the in the very background. I'm really messing up this page here, guys, but I just want to show you all the different cool tools that you have here that you can do with your drag and drop. But let's go ahead and do a background video. And uh, let's go ahead and throw that code in there. That All that is is a, the YouTube link. But as you guys can see, look at that. We've now got, let's go to the previewer here. You guys see that? There's a video behind. <laughs> so, just having way too much fun here. Now, what I could do, let's get rid of this. See how there's a video going on behind this image. But what if we got rid of this image here? What if we got rid of this image? Look at that. Now we've got some, some writing in the background. You got this video here. I could remove this video here, and now I can just take the opt-in form and stick it right here in the middle, and uh, kind of do this thing with it. Pretty cool, right, guys? So that's a pretty cool capture page. So you can do this with any, you know, just think if you're doing real estate or something, you could walk through a house and show all the rooms of the home, and then have an opt-in form above the form or you're selling land or you know whatever it is that you're selling you could build some really cool capture pages with this so hopefully that helped you guys out so the next thing what you want to do is you want to click on this save button right here so I'm gonna go ahead and save this page and I'm just gonna call this one you know something that kind of goes along with you know what it is you guys can name it whatever you want to name yours but I'm gonna go ahead and click save 
once you save it, it's going to be saved here. So it's 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 on this page, but it's still not published. You're going to need to publish it. You need to click on the, the little gears here. Once you click on that, you want to go ahead and give it a, a name before you publish it. Something that kind of goes along. And click Quick Publish. And once you do that, you must publish your pages before you can use these pages. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Quick Publish here. Looks like my internet's going a little slow here. Okay, your page has been published, page name, it'll give you the file name, it'll give you a complete link so that way you can share your link, out, you know, your page out there. It's uh, processing right now. Come on, where's my link? Sorry about that guys, my internet's going a little slow. Okay, there's the link. And then you can set the redirect for that opt-in form by clicking here. And you can kind of do the advanced features. You can add a live chat to it, but you just, you know, whatever you so choose, wherever you want them to go. You know, you just kind of change your redirect there, change some of the other settings, update settings. Okay, so that's been added. And then you can go over here to my, my published pages, and you'll see that you'll see all of your pages over here. There it is, and you can edit it. And you can now select, you know, what what contact group that you want it to be in. You can manage your contact groups. You, know, you can add a different contact group for it, so that way when they opt in, those people will be categorized. But here's the contact groups that I have set up already, so I can select any one of these different groups. Um, if if this one's you know motocross, I'd want to set up like a you know my my motocross leads or whatever you know. So, hey guys, hopefully this video has helped you uh, understand the drag and drop a little bit better. Um, take a look at some of the other um, videos that we have here if you want to learn how to set up your autoresponder or do some email uh, broadcasting or take a look at some of the other tools. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Bye-bye.